This is a video walkthrough of part one of the Meta Widget tutorial. Part one starts with a simple swing application and develops it in easy to understand steps. Meta Widget supports many UI frameworks, not just Swing, but we'll use Swing here because it ships with Java SE and requires minimal setup. Meta Widget is an object interface mapping tool, an OIM. So first we need an object to map from, the O in OIM. I'll create myself a new Java class called person and I'll add to this class some properties. For brevity I'm using public member variables here but the recommended approach is to use Java Bean getters and setters and MetaWidget supports both approaches. Next we need a user interface framework the I in OIM. We need this because even though MetaWidget is a user interface generator, it doesn't try and generate your entire UI. This is because many aspects of user interface design are best left to human designers, and attempts to auto-generate them invariably result in a very generic and less usable user interface. So first I've created my person object, then I'm creating my meta widget, and I'm going to tell my meta widget to inspect my person. And finally, I'm going to create a simple screen UI. I'm doing this using traditional swing APIs. Meta widget does not try and hide your existing UI framework or in any way limit its power or your investment in learning it. And here I'm, I'm developing using the Swing API, but you can use MetaWidget through Matisse or some other visual IDE builder. Okay, so I run this project, and as you can see, MetaWidget has created a simple UI. It's automatically populated itself with child widgets at runtime. It has chosen a J spinner, a J text field, and a J checkbox widget based on the types of the properties of the person class. And this is the first goal of MetaWidget, which is that MetaWidget creates UIs by inspecting existing backend architectures. By default, Swing MetaWidget has laid out the J components using grid bag layout. If you resize the window, the J components will resize with it. If you've ever used, tried using grid bag layout yourself, either through code or a visual UI builder, you'll know how fiddly it can be, and having MetaWidget do it for you is a real time saver. Clearly, this is not a complete UI. There are no save or cancel buttons, for example, and the J components appear uncomfortably tight to the left, top, and right edges of the J frame. And this is explained by the second goal of MetaWidget. MetaWidget does not try to own the entire UI. It focuses on creating native sub-widgets for slotting into existing UIs. Currently, the name, age, and retired fields are arranged alphabetically in our UI. Their order does not match the way they are defined in the person class. This is because field ordering information is not retained within Java class files as per the Java language specification. To correct this, MetaWidget needs to gather additional information. Now there are several ways to do this, but the simplest for now is to use the built-in MetaWidget annotation. So I'm going to annotate my person class to give the fields some ordering. Now when I run the code again, the fields appear in the correct order. Introducing new annotations to improve the UI is not really in the spirit of inspecting your existing backend. 
We'd much rather improve the UI by gathering information from existing sources. To demonstrate how MetaWidget can adapt to different sources of metadata, we'll add a few lines to the person class. I'm going to make a new field here called gender. And gender is going to be an email. Now I'll run this code again. MetaWidget has found the new gender property and generated a J label for it, but doesn't know what J component to put on the right. This is because by default, MetaWidget does not inspect Java 5 language features such as enums and generics. To recognize the enum, MetaWidget needs to use a different inspector. MetaWidget comes with multiple inspectors, each targeting different sources of information. So I will change the main class to add an inspector for Java 5 language features. And I'll run the code again. Now, this hasn't given us what we expected. The gender enum appears correctly as a J combo box, but all the other fields have disappeared. This is because MetaWidget inspectors are very targeted in what they inspect. The Java 5 inspector looks for Java 5 language features such as enums, but it doesn't look for anything else such as Java bean properties. Before we were explicitly saying Java 5 inspector, there were some implicit inspectors being used for us. What we need to do is to combine those implicit inspectors with our new Java 5 inspector.